Hey okay, guys, so um, spring's kind of here pretty much. Let me just make sure I didn't hit anything. Spring's pretty much here right now. Um, I've got my uh, bristle brush out here and like this this tool aside from my mowers I think it's made me uh, I mean it's made me quite a bit of money so I got my I got a call from one of my clients today and they want me to bristle brush their grass pick the grass up and just do a quick raking spring cleanup um, now there's not a lot of leaves on his grass so most of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it lightly with a bristle brush and uh, well here I'll show you so you grab your bristle brush I've done a little bit of it already, as you guys can see. It's gonna rain, but... So I'll show you guys what I've been doing. So... So you just go like this. light because this grass is still pretty still pretty new so. Nice and light. So the, the uh, my customer wants me to do this throughout their whole property. It's all one, mostly one-handed. And just go through the whole property and just pick up the grass. So you can see the clovers coming in here already, which is uh, not a good, not a nice thing to have. The clover, is it clover? Some sort of mold is already coming in. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we'll have to figure out how to get rid of that. We don't like spraying because we have pets, so. Um. Just rake it all towards you. And this tree here is dying because um, because of the mold, I think I think it has some sort of fungus on its branches. I don't know. I don't know what um, this is, but or if it's fixable. But I'm gonna trim out under here with my new pull, my new chainsaw. We're gonna clear out under there. Maybe it'll breathe better. We're also gonna do this one because this one's got a bit of. Well, this is a common one here. 
This is a common uh, disease. I've seen that one quite a bit, so. Oh. So. Oh. Sure, yeah, you could just leave it there if you like as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks. I think that Amazon package is my printer paper for my, uh, I, for I just got a printer so I can do flyers, but because of the coronavirus, I don't think I'll be handing out flyers this year. I think I'm gonna do online ads only, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I might call the government today and find out what what I can and can get away with. I'm not uh, a proper business yet, but I'm still, I have to operate like a business. It's a little bit mushy here. I'm actually gonna wait for this section here. I'm just gonna finish up this and then. All right, guys. So you get you get the drift, uh, gist of it. So um, I'm gonna recall this up, and then I'm gonna be on with my day. So there's just a quick little example of um, how you can make money with this thing, and you can make pretty good money. Like this, you can't dethatch this; it'll kill the grass, and it'll, it'll kill sprinkler heads as well. But the bristle brush is an option. I I talk very highly about this thing. I've used it a full season in the winter, and it still works like new. The power heads are very good. I've told people they are virtually commercial grade. There is another YouTube channel, he uses them. Um, Quiet Cuts, I think. So if you guys check out his channel, maybe I'll link it. Uh, he does use these things for trimming. Now this is a lot harder on them than trimming. A lot more torque, a lot more uh, battery, a lot more uh, motor um, torsion, but uh, yeah, it's been working really good. Really, really good. And it's made all my made my life a lot easier, this thing. I'm using it upside down right now with the guard off. Uh, always use glasses when you're doing this. Um, yeah, always use glasses and it's gonna finish up the property here, the section over here, and I'll be done for the day. Um, tomorrow I'll get started on my next property. I don't know if I can film that, but I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Anyway, peace out and uh, stay safe with this. And uh, so make sure you social distance with this uh, virus going around. It makes a big, big difference. Big pile of stuff here. So it's moss. It's kind of like a mossy thing. This is still too. Uh, that's still too. too uh, not good to rake. So. Yeah, now in all honesty, guys, this is still too wet to do this. One thing I do do with my business is some of these tools are new to me, like that bristle, like the bristle brush. So if I'm not sure of something, I do it on my own lawn first, right? Um, make sure you, if you're gonna make any mistakes, make it on your own lawn first. Now the areas where the snow is are still too mushy and, and wet to be doing this. Now I did clean it up over there a little bit and over there a little bit, but you gotta be careful because I don't wanna I don't want to kill the grass completely, so I did a light bristle brush there. Now I'm just going to do this edging. I got a shovel out. Um, 
and we're gonna push it all down to here. Bag it in the shovel. Efficiency matters, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. Now, a blower would be better to have a blower too while you're doing this, so you can so you can get all of it. All right, we'll push all this towards this now. So this stuff's hard to push, so we're gonna do little piles. Cause it's sand, I'm a lot of sand. So we're gonna get it in scoopable piles. Should be enough room for cars, I think, I hope. Now these are heavy piles, this thing's pushing it, no problem, with half a quarter trigger. I can do full trigger, right? Here's full trigger. It's almost too much. All right, we'll get this scooped. And there you guys go, so there's just a uh, basic sp spring spruce up, let's call it. It's called a spruce up. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Feel free to uh, follow, subscribe, or and hit the bell for if you want to to keep updated on me starting my season here. I'm still out of breath. I tried to hit the treadmill um, a couple months ago, and I did it barefoot, and I had blisters on my feet. So, if you don't be stupid like me, um, wear shoes on a treadmill. Peace out, guys. This was a uh, overall time for just this was like I don't know, 20 minutes. One last thing, just a quick comparison here. Not done. Not done. Done. Right? I gotta rake all these up. I had to come do a second pass, get all these leaves as well. Um, that's done. Muddy area, careful, I shouldn't have done that. 
my neighbor's on the other side of the street, so his is in the sun. So he doesn't have this problem. So his will, his will be a little bit cleaner. A little bit cleaner, but uh, that's it, guys.